Hang on, let me listen to it just a second. actually one of the best Rolling Stone songs although a lot of the Rolling Stone songs are masterpieces Gimme Shelter is probably their best song um there was a concert that they uh did on a, a, a speedway and they made a documentary I believe the documentary might have been called Gimme Shelter um and they decided they didn't, they didn't want to use the police as security or security you know, like regular security so they hired the Hells Angels to be security or front men to keep people from jumping up on stage and getting Mick Jagger. And a young boy lost his life because one of the Hells Angels pulled out a knife and stabbed him to death. They actually made the documentary when it happened. It was really out of control. If you ever see Gimme Shelter, I'll try to get you some information on that. But it's a very important documentary when it comes to music. And it shows just how crazy all the, the world was at that moment. But Gimme Shelter kind of is an anthem for that error it's an anthem song when we hear gimme shelter we think of the rolling stones but we also think of the entire 60s it represents what was going on with vietnam and hell's angels and crime in america drugs and what mick jagger was going through and what the band was trying to to suffer through they kind of resurrected kind of a spirit on stage and that sound is very hard to even uh, imitate today a lot of bands can't even get that kind of feel There's a war on. It's all online. I found it. Right here.
good. I thought I said 13 there for a minute. Whew. Let me ask him, are you a petunia? I saw Natalie eat today. Navy got stopped right here. They just slowed down. It's all the methamphetamines at the FedEx for the Navy soldiers. See, Led Zeppelin, at the time, they were very Greek in the fact that they were philosophical. It was very airy music. Uh, they made mistakes when they play. Like, like the solos would come in in the wrong area. Uh, they were really sloppy on stage. They weren't like Metallica or anything like that. They were, they were kind of sloppy. Although the sound that they recorded the studio was great. But they would bring in the solo at the wrong time. And overlapping stuff would never really work today. Because today we've gone more Roman. We were once Greek, now we've gone Roman, where police officers are killing people on national television and it's kind of like a fun thing, like they can get on Donut Operator and go kill someone in the Roman age as a police officer and you become a star and like you're celebrated like a, an idol. You know, the guy that killed George Floyd is like celebrated. You know, he's gonna write a book one day and have a bestseller, right? He's gonna be a very, that man's gonna be a millionaire for killing George Floyd, right? So we're in a Roman time where we celebrate murder and it's very refined. In a, in a way, it's kind of simple too. But people can't make a single mistake on stage or they'll be booed. Like all that aspect of what the Led Zeppelin was trying to do and maybe even Pink Floyd at, at really in a way has kind of washed away into commercialism. It's becoming strict and legalism. So everything is very strict and stuff. It's very Roman-esque. So if you're going to go perform in front of like a live audience, you got to know every single note. You make, they make one little mistake, they, they'll hate you for it, right? Like, uh, you know, like... Uh, that band, uh, uh, Smashing Pumpkins, if they were performing live, they didn't sound like the studio. People were like, what the hell is this? They didn't like it because we were entering into a Roman age. Pearl Jam tried to stop some of it. Pearl Jam was more Greek. They tried to stop some of that from going into the Roman and the violence and stuff because it has to be free. It has to be like, kind of improv because then you're not living by like text and law. You're living by philosophical, airy ideas, air, ideas that are, you know, inside the air, like just floating like in a cloud, right? If you look at the cover of Led Zeppelin stuff, it's very Greek. It's very like floaty and peaceful. Well, now the bands past the Smashing Pumpkin era, now they become very strict, like investigative journalism, like Sun Kill Moon is doing investigative journalism. They're reporting stuff on stages that happen, mentioning names like Richard Ramirez. They're reporting things and like journal entries. It's almost structural and newscast almost nearly. It's almost like listening to a newscast and they can't make a single mistake. Like Mark, Z uh, Mark, Z uh, uh, Mark, uh, Kozalik, not Mark Zuckerberg, but Mark Kozalik knows every single line. He knows all of that. It's torture. 
is completely tortured. Mark Azalek, he knows every single word to all of those lyrics and songs. It's insane.